I frequently get asked, what does the current buyer pool look like for vacant boxes? Um, and what we're finding is a lot of people are either buying them traditionally from you know, calling off market owners, calling the people who own a, you know, a vast majority of these and buying them that way. Um, there's a lot of buyers out there, um, both on the institutional side um, and the individual side, who are buying them via auction. Uh, we've been doing a lot of auction sales uh, really throughout the Midwest and nationally. We're selling a, a former Kmart in West Virginia right now to a healthcare group. We just sold a former Walmart in Ohio to a uh, auto part dis uh, distribution warehouse. Um, I'm working with a number of self-storage buyers right now. We're looking to take former Kmart's, former Sears, to reconvert those into self-storage. So it's the, the gamut is massive in terms of the buyer pool. It really comes down to someone who has the idea of what they want to do with it, what they can pay for it. A lot of the properties, you know, they haven't been touched in, in quite many years. They have, you know, roof issues, new HVAC that has to go in on the self-storage side. You're talking about massive new build-outs, tearing out the floors, redemising the spaces, and in many instances, you'll find shopping centers, and, and these buyers that we talk to a lot, would want to buy a vacant box in a larger shopping center, chop up the entire space, and potentially take it a 120,000 square foot uh, vacant supermarket and make it into three individual units. But that becomes very expensive, and what they have to do is basically put up demising walls throughout, split all the utilities, split the electrical, split, split the plumbing. So, you know, I think the buyer pool is limited on that side of it, but on the, on the wider open vacant box, the, the market is big.